Good evening, my name is Sarah Howard and a warm welcome to you in the DBRL Zoom room for a lovely concert tonight. We're so happy to get to share this time with Little Rev who's up in his Wisconsin Zoom room. He is no stranger to our library system, not only for adult events, but also for, for children's events in the past um, and even to schools for us. We're so happy to have him here. He was voted best folk singer of Wisconsin in the past, and he's also an awesome ukulele teacher. We got to learn about that earlier this summer. So it's time for me to magically disappear and spotlight Little Rev for us. Enjoy the Harmonica Americana concert. Thank you so much for being here. All right, well, thank you so much, Sarah. It's a pleasure to be with you guys tonight. And uh, I'm gonna start out on a uh, uh, rack style harmonica with a little bit of uh, a uh, tenor guitar to go along with this and uh and this first piece uh, uh just kind of demonstrates how the harmonica can add a nice uh, layer a nice flavor to um you know to the the basic uh, feel of an old folk song and uh and so here we go Everybody. So uh, that's kind of a, you know, uh, this is a show, that, it's called Harmonica Americana, and it just demonstrates a lot of the different ways in which the harmonica can be employed in uh, traditional music, and uh, that would include blues and folk and bluegrass and country and Celtic and all kinds of different stuff like that. I'm going to, I'm going to set the baritone, or so the tenor down here. And uh, now I'm going to play another one for you on the mouth harp. And uh, 
This time I'm going to do one for you uh, in the rack, except I'm going to accompany myself on the old the old time uh, Civil War era rhythm bones. And uh, I'm going to play an old fiddle tune for you guys. And this one you'll recognize. I've been around forever. And uh, let's see here. All right. All right, here we go now. Uh, the harmonica rack is a, is a really cool thing. Uh, some of the, the great purveyors of this included Woody Guthrie, um, of course, Bob Dylan, um, and in the blues realm, people like Jimmy Reed and Slim Harpo, uh, to name just a few. And, uh, and so here we go now. Let me give you a little bit of that old time turkey in the straw. Or as we used to call when we were kids, the ice cream truck song. Here we go. Hope you guys were tapping your toes, snapping your fingers, clapping your hands. And uh, that's one of my favorite little pieces to play. All right. So we're going to keep rolling along now. I'm going to slow it down a little bit for you guys. I don't want you guys to get too carried away here tonight. And uh, play one with just a solo harmonica now. All right. Well, the harmonica was first patented about 1821, 1822, that time frame. This is right about the same time as the accordion. And uh, by the time the Civil War rolled around, the harmonica was really starting to um, show promise as a instrument that was more than it's a simple folk design based on a free reed instrument. Uh, free reed instruments go back thousands of years, all the way, be traced all the way back to origins in China, believe it or not. And uh, there's a bunch of little brass reeds inside of there and they vibrate when you blow and they vibrate when you breathe in. And so, um it's a very cool instrument and it's a very easy instrument to get started on but like all instruments to achieve mastery it's how much time you want to put into it and so uh, now i'm going to play one for you on the uh the diatonic harmonica and b flat and uh i'm going to play one with a mute here this allows me to distort the tone a little bit and uh, i play it through a variety of different implements and as the sound comes through here i can take my hand and I could do this like a trumpet player would do with a plunger. All right. And so uh, here we go. I'm going to play one for you now. And uh, this one's called Rain Crow Bill. Rain Crow Bill, a uh, piece that I first heard Doc Watson play. And uh, uh, I think you'll like this one. Here we go.
Thank you. That was called Rain Crow Bill. And uh, that's a piece that comes in many different varieties, um, from Sonny Terry to uh, all kinds of guys like the Ford Bailey, early innovators and purveyors of uh, blues style and country and old time harmonica, all seem to have their own version of Rain Crow Bill. And so, uh, so that was my simple little version of it. And uh, I'm gonna do one more for you on the mute now. And uh, this one's called High Police and Sheriff. Pull around and hanging by, we'll sure get you down. Sure get you down, boy, sure get you down. Hanging around and fooling about, we'll sure get you down. Hang around the chain gang too long. <laughs> and shell come riding down riding down now riding down high police and shell come riding down fool round the chain gang too long <laughs> Stayed around, done stayed around, the old town too long. Summer's almost gone and winter's coming home. Laid around, done stayed around, this old town too long. Feel like I'm on my way. <laughs> High Police and Sheriff. That was a little piece I played for you there on the B flat straight harp style. And uh, a straight harp, we'll be talking about that tomorrow in my class and getting everybody learning how to play um, basic, basic um, harmonica styles and in intro class. And we'll learn how to play one note at a time. We'll learn how to couple of little bluesy riffs, make a train sound, um, and all kinds of cool stuff. And so uh, I'm going to switch up the harmonicas now. And uh, let's see here. Now we're going to do uh, we're gonna do a little something Irish now. And uh, I'll play, uh, play a little harmon a little ukulele with this too. Just uh Balance things out a little bit. Play a little bit of this. It's a process. Hold tight now. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to play a little Irish jig for you guys. I spent uh, many, many years in an Irish band and uh, played a lot of Irish pubs. And this music sounds beautiful on the harmonica. Tends to be a little notier than some of the other things I play, but it's lots of fun to work up on the harmonica. And American music has got all these different influences, and the Celtic, the Celtic influence on America is uh, 
not to be understated. So here we go. One of my favorite jigs. This is called the Swallowtail Jig. Here we go. Feel free to snap your fingers, clap your hands, and, and jump around, move around a little bit, and uh, shake your troubles off. Okay? Here we go. All right, well, that one was called the Swallowtail Jig, and that's kind of a standard Irish session tune. Uh, session tunes are tunes that people get together and everybody knows them and likes to play them when you go to a, a, a pub and you sit down with uh, flute players and butteron drummers and uh, mandolins and all the instruments. Everybody sit around and have a good time swapping tunes. That's one that'll pop up a lot. And uh, it's that music's really fun to play on the mouth harp. There are some really like world-class Irish harmonica players. And so you want to look for um, guys like Brendan Powder and uh, um, my buddy over in Chicago, James uh, Connolly, and uh, a whole bunch of other really good, good Irish players out there. And uh, so I'm going to do another one here for you uh, with a ukulele as long as I got it in my hand. I just need to switch harmonicas again. I got a little case full of harmonicas that you, you can't really see sitting down here with all the different keys in them. And, uh, uh, and now we're going to go from an Irish tune to a jug band tune. And this is one from about 19 and 27. And uh, this one, uh, this is a good uh, example of what happened in the uh mid to late 20s with the harmonica both in cross harp style and first position um examples i'll do two songs from the jug band era for you now and um i've been doing this song so long i i forgot uh who the original artist was that that sang this one but uh um it's off of a record uh columbia put out on uh um samples of uh, jug band music. Uh, wet my whistle and then I'll give, give it a go. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm through with love. I have to imagine the washboard playing along too, okay? It 
It's all over now on account of you. It's all over now on account of you. Treat me so bad, I'm through with you. I'm blue again on account of you. I'm blue again on account of you. Do me so wrong, I'm through with you. And uh, I'm gonna grab my five string over there, and, and uh, not five string banjo, but my five string ukulele. And I promise I do two jug band harmonica examples for you. That last one was called "I'm Through with Love," and uh, lots of fun to play that song. That's in cross harp style or second position, which uh, is kind of the bluesy bending um, style that that a lot of that stuff. Um, was recorded having uh you know been waxed in the 1920s and now i'm going to do uh one more in the rack and then i'll get back to playing playing solo harmonica for you guys and uh and now we're going to do one um by the memphis jug band so uh i did this one here for you this is called stealing stealing pretty mama don't you tell on me Stealing back to my same old used to be. And if ever there was like a list of top 10 jug band songs, this would be in the top 10. Actually, let me uh let me let me play this on the mandolin. This would be more uh this would give it a little bit more of a jug band sound. So you guys can't see my lovely assistant here helping me out. Um but uh, I'm lucky, I got a little help here. And uh, as I got a whole museum of instruments here. This is a 1920s banjo mandolin and the kind of instrument you would have heard or been more likely to hear on the jug band records. Um, there was ukulele often played in the Memphis jug band music by Annie Mae Clayton. Um, however, the mandolin was a much more prominently featured instrument on those recordings. And so I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to take the harmonica part that was done by a guy named Will Shade. And Will Shade was the leader of the Memphis Chug Band. And he played in a really uh, bluesy, straight harp style. And uh, um, and that was that was very common in the 1920s. There was a lot of good, good harmonica players who could really make the first position on the harmonica sound good. And so here's an example of that for you guys. We'll let the mandolin start it out. Okay, here we go. Loving, 
She just my height and size She's a married woman Come to see me sometime Believe I love it What a fool I've been Believe I'm sinking What a hole I'm in I'm Steve Steve Pretty mama Don't you tell on me Stealing back we down around Tennessee Oh, blow Put your arms around me like a sucker around the sun Won't you let me love you like my easy rider Don Believe I love you, what a fool I've been Believe I'm sinking, what a hole I'm in I'm steel, steel Pretty mama, don't you tell on me Stealing back, we're down around Milwaukee some jug band style harmonica in the rack now will shade he didn't play harmonica in the rack he he uh, he just held that harmonica in his hand and uh and that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to play one for you just kind of holding it in the hand and um let's see here i think i'm gonna i'm gonna play one for you now uh, this one is uh, a piece that was done by a guy named sonny terry and uh he was one of the more rhythmic players uh if you listen to what he did with chording and using his hands to great effect uh and his tongue slapping inside the mouth um see that's the thing uh will shade the memphis jug band harmonica player he said the harmonica is a blind man's instrument because you can't see what's going on inside my mouth and and there's more than meets the eye it's not just the breath that's coming from diaphragmatically from down here and breathing in and out of the harmonica, but the tongue moving up and down, moving front and back, sideways, fluttering, and uh, uh, creating percussive effects. And um, the best way to describe this, as I'll talk about tomorrow, is if you can say tiki taki and breathe in when you say it multiple times. So if you go tiki taki, tiki taki, you'll feel that your tongue is slapping down up and down inside your mouth and that's kind of what's going on a lot of time rhythmically when you're hearing very percussive style harmonica why percussive style harmonica is so fascinating and important is that um if you want to jam or play with other people it provides you with a lot of technique and a lot of uh historical precedent for bringing the harmonica into a situation with other instruments and having it really add a lot. And you can do a lot with it rhythmically. Typically, we think of the harmonica as a melodic instrument and not so much of a rhythmic instrument. And that's why I find that side of it so fascinating. One of the great purveyors of this is a guy named Sonny Terry. 
and he was one of the great blues harmonica players, I think from uh, North Carolina uh, region. And, uh, and so let me grab this harmonica here and I'm gonna play a tune called Old Job Bow. All right. All right. So isn't actually I'm going to put two of these pieces together. First one will be called Whoop and Johnny, and this is sort of my tribute to Sonny Terry. Uh, and then I'll segue into Old Job Bo. Okay. So here we go. Come old job bowl. Old job bowl ran across that field. Great big snake bit him on his heel. Up he jumped and away he ran. Couldn't catch a fool in an airplane. Old job bow don't have no shoes. That's why I got them running blue. Old job bow now fairly well. I know some, but I ain't gonna tell. Yeah, I know some, but I ain't gonna tell. called Old Jabo and that a uh, couple pieces there to highlight the influence of Sonny Terry on the rhythmic side of the harmonica. Now, obviously, things like Turkey and the Straw and your Celtic music that I played for you earlier are examples of highly melodic styles of harmonica playing. Um, when I was a little kid, my grandfather played the, um, the tremolo style harmonica. And that's the other thing about the harmonica, my friends, is that there's all different types of models. You got a uh, standard 10-hole diatonic. You got these longer tremolo style that I like to play too. And a wide variety of other different harmonicas. You got the kind with the levers on the side there to get the, the sharps and the flats for your chromatic styles. And hundreds of different types of harmonicas that you can explore and get into. 
Uh, it's really a fascinating world. Some people collect harmonicas and uh, search for all the old ant antiquated ones as well. And so um, I'll play one, one or two for you on the tremolo styles now. And uh, But before I do that, I want to play a couple of what I call campfire uh, melodies. And these are the sort of tunes that my grandfather used to play on the larger style harmonicas. Um, this is what I call the heart and soul of the harmonica. It's the stuff that anybody can just pick up a harmonica and with a little bit of effort, learn how to play Home on the Range, Oh Susanna, My Darling Clementine, um, You Are My Sunshine, This Land Is Your Land. These are simple folksy melodies that are accessible to anybody. And uh, with a little bit of hand tremolo, that's the hand moving back and forth. And again, my class tomorrow is for the complete beginner. And so I'm going to demonstrate how a little bit of hand tremolo can sound really good. And um, we'll dedicate this piece here to uh, uh, my favorite librarian uh, down there in uh, Columbia um, at Daniel Boone, uh, Sarah Howard, who is always working so hard to uh, bring educational programming and outreach to the community. Uh, it's libraries like Daniel Boone that really make um, make me proud as I'm traveling around the country and I see the work they're doing in their communities to share a lot of knowledge and culture. And so uh, this one's for, for you guys. I think you'll get the picture when you hear what melody it is. Okay? Across the wide Missouri. Here we go. That's what you call front porch music. That's uh, harmonica. You, you just play for yourself when you're sitting out on your front porch and, uh, um, you know, just for the sheer enjoyment of it, those kind of simple little melodies like that. And the harmonica can stand on its own now. You can see all by itself or with a band. And so now I'm going to bring in the band here and I'm going to, um, I'm going to pick up the guitar now. All right. So here we go. I hope everybody's having a good time tonight. Well, uh, the harmonica is the first instrument in space. Uh, it was taken up on the Gemini space flight, and uh, that makes it an instrument that's pretty far out, don't you think? Folklore and legend says that... Uh, Jesse James was uh, saved uh, by a harmonica resting in his uh, breast pocket uh, when the bullet lodged in the harmonica. Now, there's a lot of cool history connected to the harmonica. And, uh, and now I'm going to play something that every harmonica player ought to know how to do. I am going to play uh, a little bit of boogie woogie. And so if you pay, take up the harmonica, you got to learn how to do the boogie because it's, uh, it's just a lot of fun. And so... Uh, let me grab the right hand. All right. And we'll do one or two on the guitar here with the, the rack. And uh, I sure hope you guys are having a good time tonight here, enjoying a little bit of cool old timey harmonica. I grew up in Hawaii and um, a lot of really good blues harmonica players in Milwaukee that I uh, was 
you know, lucky enough to be around that really inspired my early beginnings. And uh, my grandfather played harmonica as well. So, all right, one of the legendary blues harmonica players was a guy named Big Walter Horton. And Big Walter Horton was a Chicago blues harmonica player uh, in the 1950s. And uh, this is called Big Walter's Boogie. Now, I prefer to do this holding it in my hands. And I prefer that somebody else plays the guitar um, so that I can really use my hands to do things with the harmonica like you saw me doing earlier. Um, but when you don't have another guitar player around, you got to do both of them together. Now, some of you are asking yourself, could I play the harmonica and another instrument at the same time? Uh, and, and, and I believe you can. Pat your head and rub your tummy. If you can pat your head and rub your tummy, then you could play the guitar and the harmonica at the same time, because that's kind of what I like. You use both, both parts of the brain, you know, both sides of the brain. So here we go. Big Walter's Boogie. All right. this music so much uh, just uh, so grateful uh, to all these great harmonica players that done come before and um, I just really love uh, love this uh, historic stuff and I've never been like a note for note harmonica player so I don't you know when I listen to those old recordings I don't sit there and try and play it 
note for note. I don't have that kind of patience, but I do spend enough time with a lot of those old recordings to try and um, just kind of capture um, the essence of the tune. And and every time you learn a new song, boy, you improve a little bit. And so uh, that's what it's been like for me now. For I started playing harmonica when I was about 12 or 13. I'm in my, my 50s now. So um, it's a it's a lifelong endeavor. And uh, I play about a half a dozen different instruments. So um, had I just stuck to the harmonica, maybe I'd been a little further along, but I'm, you know, I'm still enjoying playing this instrument. I love teaching as I hope you'll uh, join me tomorrow and find out that I, uh, I like to share that with everybody. So I'm going to do something really different now. I know I, th I think I said I was going to play more than one on the, on the guitar, but I'm going to set the guitar down for a minute and, uh, I'm gonna do something really different now. I wanna play another implement. So there are a lot of cool things that you can play the harmonica through to get a different sound. So I use like PVC piping. Um, I use flexible uh, plumbing joints. Um, and uh, you saw I have, uh, I have this, um, what do they call it? A, a, a harpois and uh, and then I also use like hurricane lamp shades. Anything that will distort the tone a little bit, I can use to create a different kind of sound. And uh, and that's why we look for all these cool different little things. Those of us are harmonica geeks. So now I'm gonna reach down and as soon as I find the right harmonica, I'm gonna play a tune called Cluck Old Hen for you guys. This is an Appalachian uh, piece uh, that everybody seems to know. And uh, let's see here. Here we go. All right. Hope you guys are ready for this. All right. <laughs> She lays eggs for the railroad men, sometimes one, sometimes two, sometimes enough for the whole dang crew. Clug old hand, clug and sing, ain't laid eggs since last spring. Clug old hand, clug and squall, ain't laid an egg since way last fall. <laughs> Best on hand that ever laid an egg, laid more eggs than any hand around. I reckon another snort wouldn't do me no harm. Clug a old hand, clug and sing. Ain't laid an egg since way last spring. Clug a old hand, clug and squall. Ain't laid an egg since way last. <laughs> Cluckle hen. <laughs> That's with the hurricane lamp shade. And uh, there's just a million different kinds of music to play on the harmonica. I mean, you could just classical, jazz, blues, rock and roll, you know. 
Uh, when I was a teenager, you know, I wanted to play all kinds of neat stuff that was out there. And uh, um, you could turn on the radio and, you know, you'd hear things like, You could hear Billy Joe. You could hear Mick Jagger playing on the Rolling Stones. You could hear the Beatles on Love Me Do. And you could just hear all this harmonica in rock and roll. Um, I didn't have any idea how much, you know, uh, that history went back so far. And there was all this great blues and country. And uh, um, Charlie McCoy, you know, doing the doing the uh, I'm so lonesome I could cry. It's kind of like just like a magical train ride you can take with the harmonica. I mean, it just, it'll carry you across the decades and, uh, you know, across a century. And, uh, and before you know it, you, you've gone all the way back in time and you, you learn about all these cool styles. It's like a train ride. All aboard. <laughs> it's the Daniel Boone Express. <laughs> Here we go. Buckle your seatbelts now. There you have it, the Daniel Boone Express. A little bit of train music. And uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, yeah. So many options there. I want to do one more short one for you on the mouth harp here. Um, I did not play the tremolo, the larger style harmonica. And I'd like to play a little bit of that for you. Um, I'll do this one. If, and uh, this may... This may Bring us to the top of the hour. If not, I'll do one last tune right after this. And uh, and that'll uh, bring us to the top of the hour, I think. Um, let's see. I'll take the Maya Mo over there. And, uh, and so uh, here you have the tremolo style harmonica. And uh, this is a longer... Longer harmonica. It kind of has kind of like a wavery, quavery sound. And... Uh, That gives you a, an idea of what that sounds like on its own. That was called the Lumberjack Shottish, an old uh, tune from the polka era. But I'll play one for you to take you on out on the, on the ukulele here. I want to thank uh, Sarah Howard and everybody at the Daniel Boone Library for uh, inviting me back again. I've been uh, doing programs with them for many years now. And uh, let's see here. Do you have a pen? Uh, and then put something in there to keep that from sliding out. One second, everybody. I think I got one right here. Forgot I had to improvise on this. Let's see here. There we go. I think that's going to do it. That might do it. All right. There we go. 
sometimes the harmonica will slide out of the rack and uh, if you put a pencil or pen in there it'll hold it in there better tricks of the trade all right so this is uh this is a, a tune off of my one of my last records um called sing song daddy is the name of the album and this is called the milwaukee waltz and it's uh you know i like to play a lot of old time music but i love to write my own songs and so i think we'll just we'll take it we'll finish out the program with this tune here and uh give you a little waltz um i want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight um i know a lot of you are trying to stay in and uh um stay close to home and so uh this is as good as it gets until we can make it down there in person so i'm so grateful to daniel boone and all of you for uh tuning in wonderful turnout tonight i hope some of you will join me for the class tomorrow uh, please visit my website lilrev.com l-i-l-r-e-v.com um and uh, that's where you'll find my books and recordings and things like that okay thank you all so much and uh, we'll take it home with milwaukee waltz Waltz across Texas, Missouri too, out of the Midwest into the blue. And if I could waltz my whole life through, I waltz in Milwaukee with you. Baby, won't you shake my blues away? Honey, we could polka most any place. And if I'm gonna love you to your dying day, let's waltz in Milwaukee and steal the night away. Tennessee was fine the whole night through. Waltz cross Ohio neath the big harvest moon. Nothing that makes me feel so blue. When I'm not waltzing with you Baby, won't you shake my blues away Honey, we could polka most any place And if I'm gonna love you to your dying day Let's waltz in Milwaukee and steal the night away Waltzing ain't cool Baby, when we're waltzing You make me cool To me, go from me Shoe foot shoe One, two, three, one, two, three Darling, I do Baby, won't you shake My blues away Honey, we could polka Most any place And if I'm gonna love you To your dying day Let's waltz in Milwaukee, steal the night away. Ah, oh, yeah. Come on now. Cuddle up a little closer, baby mine. Everybody. It's been a pleasure sharing some harmonica Americana with you guys tonight. Thank you to Sarah Howard, my wife Jenna, for helping out on this end. And uh, I look so forward to seeing some of you tomorrow for the workshop. Thank you so much.
thank you so much. We're so happy you could come join us and you guys can see why he's one of our favorites. There's nothing better than a performer who's also a teacher and likes to share uh, so that people can get excited about things. So we hope we'll see you tomorrow at uh, the workshop. Uh, the information is on our website, dbrl.org. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah.